Welcome, fifth grade mathematicians. Today we're doing entry task day 101. Let's read problem number one. Edward is washing a car and a, tr a truck and a car. He uses four pints of soap to wash the truck. He uses three fourths of that amount to wash the car. The shaded portions in this model represent the amount of soap he used to wash the car. Enter the amount of soap in pints Edward uses to wash the car. So I highlighted the amount of soap he used to wash the truck, which is four pints. I highlighted the amount of soap he used to wash the car, which is three-fourths of that amount. And that amount is referring to the amount that he used to wash the truck, which was four pints. If we look at our, um, our diagram, we have four tape diagrams, and they're each broken into fourths, and three of the fourths are um, used for the car. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take um, what we know, and that is um, he uses, we're trying to find how much he uses for the, um, how much soap he uses for the car. So I'm going to take three-fourths, of 4. Now remember, we can substitute the word of with a multiplication symbol in math. So what I have is a simple multiplication of a fraction and a whole number, which is 3 times 4 over 4. And I can um, solve this in one of two ways. I could uh, just multiply 3 times 4 and divide it by 4, so 12 divided by 4, or I can cross-cancel as I go, which I'm that's what I'm going to do. 4 goes into 4 one time, and 4 goes into 4 one time, and I'm left with 3 times 1 over 1, which is 3. So what we see is that 3 fourths of 4 is 3. So Edward has or used three pints of soap to wash the car. Let's take a look at problem number two. Maya has six feet of yarn. She cuts the yarn into equal sized pieces. Each piece is one-third foot long. Enter the number of pieces Maya is able to cut from six feet of yarn. So for this problem, I'm going to represent the yarn with, with a, it's kind of a crooked line, with a tape diagram. And this represents six feet of yarn. Okay, and I'm going to further break the tape diagram down into six pieces, and each piece would represent one foot. And what I see is that from each foot, I get three pieces if I break it into thirds, right? So each of those is one third of a foot. And um, what I see from this is that each foot has three-thirds. So this is three, this is three, this is three, and so on and so forth. So I can find how many pieces by going six times three. So I would have 18 one-third foot pieces. Okay. So, 18 pieces of yarn. All right. Next, we're going to move on to problem uh, number three. But problems three and four 
are actually similar in how we set them up. So I'm going to give you a moment to see what they have in common. Okay, so as we look at those, we see that they are both conversion problems. And with a conversion problem, we always um, will write them out with what we are given. So in this case, um, problem number three, it says enter the number of grams equal to three kilograms. So I'm given three kilograms. And I want to know how many grams that is. So in order to solve this, we need to know how many kilograms, or um, how many grams one kilogram is equal to. Well, kilo means a thousand, so one kilogram is a thousand grams. Once I know that, then I see that I need to know what three kilo, uh, kilograms are. So I'm going to multiply three times one thousand, and that is three thousand. So. 3 kilograms is equal to 3,000 grams. Okay, problem number 4, again, is a conversion problem. And we're going to uh, start out with what we know. Okay, and um, in this case... Where uh, it says enter the number of minutes equal to four and three fourths hours. So we're going to start with three, four and three fourths hours. And it wants us to know, or wants us to find how many minutes. So I know that one hour equals 60 minutes. So, I'm going to multiply 4 and 3 fourths times 60. Now, this is a little bit different in the sense that we have a mixed number. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to use distributive property to break that apart. Decompose 4 and 3 fourths. And I'm going to multiply 4 times 60 and three-fourths times 60. Well, four times 60 is 240, and three-fourths times 60. Now, I can do some calculations here because I know that one-fourth of an hour is 15 minutes. Right? So 3 fourths of an hour would be 3 times 15, which would be 45. So I did a little men mental math there. So I have 240 plus 45, which is 285 minutes. So 4 and 3 fourths hours is equal to 285 minutes. Okay, for problem number five, I'm going to enlarge this a little bit and just work on the grid. So a couple things. Um, this says a student plots the following points. Which point was not plotted correctly? So we're looking for the one that is done incorrectly. Well, remember, when I'm doing... Um, any kind of graphing like this. I start at the origin and I will move, I'll do the X coordinate first, which is horizontal, and then I will do the Y coordinate, which is vertical. Okay? 
So let's see where point A is. If I start at zero and I go over one and I go count up one, two, three, four. So the x is one, the x coordinate is one, the y coordinate is four. That is plotted correctly, so I'm going to cross that out. Okay. Point B, I'm going to start at zero. I'm going to count over one, two, and I'm going to go up three. One, two, three, and point B is correctly plotted. Cross those out. Point C, I'm going to start at zero and count over one, two, three, and up two. One, two. And point C is also plotted correctly. So that should mean that D, unless they're all plotted correctly, so let's start, and we go over 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1, 2, 3. This is where D should be, but they miscounted. So point D is not plotted correctly. So good work today, um, and what I want to do is I want to encourage you that if you have any questions, to be sure to reach out to your teacher. Have a great day and keep working hard.